to this week, but we gotta have them <clears throat> about a pound and a half bigger net. That's probably like a two-two. We eat them all to be three and three quarters this week, and then a big in a day. So I don't know how many casts of that hunter. Three casts hey. on a frog. So hunter's my media person. If y'all don't know, hunter, I fish the bass master elites, and hunter travels with me to keep the cameras ready and stuff like that. So the video knows. The video knows. We'll just put the hole since you started. All right. <laughs> If we're in six foot, we better get a bite right. As soon as we get up there and see the grass. We drove like half our life away. Driving here to New York, we're on Lake Champlain now. Day one of official practice started just a little while ago. We're out here, already caught two, like two and a quarters. Lost a three and a half. Lost one on a frog. I don't use, I don't lose many on a frog typically, but I don't know if I've doctored the hooks on this. This is a practice frog. Yeah, I did. I shouldn't have lost that one. I don't know what happened, but lost one on a frog already. I had like four frog bites in the first. Not very long though, so pretty excited about that. Clumpy enough. It's like grass that can hold one, but it's not like clumpy enough to flip a frog. It's more like that. Reeling frog. I'm a little jacked up right now. I wish the tournament would start right now and I just got to fish to keep my next five, you know? <laughs> we can keep my new five, I kid. The boy wants to go bust on him today. You know? Home bro's feeling it. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. That sound like a damn bass. <laughs> I gotta find two things. If I'm gonna run down here. Number one, I gotta have two patterns. Number two, I gotta have a place where I think I can catch them fast. There's so many, you know, three, four hour tournaments. Where you catch like, 12, 15 keepers, it ain't no problem. You just gotta be catching them the whole time. You can't come down here and have a three hour lull. So that's how you do poorly. Let's see what we got. It's not. I said, everybody's gotta eat in this order. You eat too much or don't eat enough. I eat too much. God almighty. That was a pike, wasn't it? it? Had to be. Dude. Dude. What's 
going. That was a bass too. That was a big one. It's a pike. Broke me off. Nope, just came off. I ain't going all in in practice. He's missing his tail. Was he three and a half? Three and three quarters, maybe? It's a good one. I'd already have got him, but I might have, have got a hook in him. He would have never came off, but it looked like he would have. Little John, little Johnny. Let's see what he weighs. He's a lot smaller than that last one. I think he's uh, I don't know, 330? Maybe not quite three, I don't know. I got something that'll tell me though. Three and a quarter. It's like a seven or eight pounder. It's a freaking seven or eight pounder for real. You think I'm stuck? <laughs> you don't hear the live thing on the other end pulling? 
You think I'm stuck? <laughs> I did at first. Said you always play. Maybe he's only a five or six. No, you're not a bass. I didn't say he was a bass. He's not a bass. Oh. Oh, he took a thing. Yeah, and I ain't got many. As soon as I changed, though, I started to get some bites, didn't I? Give us an update. Update, we are fishing around. Finally getting us a bite or two here and there. We are in Ticonderoga. Trying to catch us a bass. Been fishing around. Finally just tied on a Little John. Cranking it around on some of these rock points. Caught a couple nice ones. Caught a couple early on a frog. Um, caught one three pounder flipping a jig. Lost one about three and a half, three and three quarters on a frog. And then caught a three and three quarters and a three and a quarter cranking a little john so just kind of jumping around mixing it up trying to figure out if i think something's consistent enough to justify me fishing the tournament in this area so we'll see still still kind of trying to figure it out False alarm. False alarm. Thought he was a big one. Probably about a two and a half, two ten. They here though. Begging. Did you see it? Beautiful. Let's get another one right out of the same clump. Begging, you see him? Dude, freaking begging. Should I get him? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Four pounder? Just shook off a four. There's a four. 
Yeah. Beautiful. Ready? Alright, so we're <clears throat> mid lake right now in Champlain, looking around for the smallmouth. Caught a couple, caught a couple small ones, and then just had one really big one follow a spa bait up, but he did not commit to it, so not a catchable fish. But we're just kind of still trying to dial in <clears throat> where the smallmouth are. The most fish in this lake are obviously smallmouth, but I just don't really like fishing for them nearly as much as largemouth. So we're going to try to kind of keep both of them honest. But I'm just happy to be in New York. The fish are freaking biting up here. We've caught a lot of fish today. Would have had a pretty good bag today, but really felt like a lot of the bites were random. So tomorrow we gotta dial it in a little bit more. Hold the phone. Hold up a second. You thought we was done? You thought we was gone? Yeah. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Instant replay. This one's bigger. Dang, we got a fin dig. Oh, we got a foot is not bigger. A honey hole. Hunty hole. Good morning. It rained yesterday. We didn't hunt. It did. It rained yesterday morning. Went out solo. No camera person. No camera crew. Just out here. Me out here doing it. Moving all of my lonesome. Caught 16 ish yesterday, probably maybe 17. Not good on this lake. Haven't found the big large mouth. Did catch a small mouth yesterday, almost four pounds. It's a big spot I had yesterday. Just didn't find the big large mouth for whatever reason. I actually, I forgot I had that 312. I probably had 17 and a half, 18 yesterday. So. Tell them that we got a new code for Black Rifle. New code for Black Rifle for your first order only. And or RT. Yeah, and RTDs. Whatever you want to get off the Black Rifle site, Welcher 15, right? Welcher 15. It's a brand new code. So if you use the old code and it did not work, I apologize. The new code is Welcher 15. Your first order, you get 15% off. And then after that, you can try the code BLASTOFF20 on your second order and get another discount. So let's go catch some big small. That's the problem with them right now, they're super thin. That's why, that's why I was thinking largemouth might win because these smallmouth are so skinny. Um, in this area of the lake specifically. It's beautiful though. Wow. He's also a big one. No, he's not a big one. Oh God. Let me see. Let the camera see. Place a guess. Um, 214. 
He is 214. Dude, that's freaking. That's supposed to be like a four pounder for real. He's 18 and a half inches. That's that point right there. You can see it come out. That point. That's where I just lost that big enough for that point right there. It's not that big. Two ninety three. Three fifty I mean two fifteen, I guess. I jump right here. <laughs> oh my god, honey. You jump in the freaking boat. <laughs> and it is a giant. I mean, a freaking mega giant. That is a fatty. Kyle, he jumped on me. He jumped in the boat, dude. Did you get that on video? Yes. <laughs> I saw him cut it by the <laughs> And all of a sudden he just jumped in here. Oh man. That's a freaking giant. Any guesses, Mr. Welcher? I think he's like a 5'11", but I'm not talking about ounces. So it's gonna be like a five two. Four ninety six. So he's a five pounder on the dot. Giant one there, dude. Freaking giant one. Mm, you guys head back down. Little one. So, the goal for today was try to find a way to catch some smallmouth 
And if I did that, I was going to stay in this area and not run to Ticonderoga because I want to fish um, Mr. Koi Bay and then still have, you know, some options to fish for smallmouth if I, you know, only have a couple fish or the day's not going the way I want to go at, you know, 11, 12 o'clock. I can still come down here and maybe get a couple smallmouth bites that are quality. And we found a way to catch some today anyways. Don't know if it's going to hold up for tomorrow. The wind could change, make these fish set up a completely different way. But for right now, I feel like I kind of understand what they're sitting up on out here. And we're going to get some bites. So let's catch another couple more. Look at my map right there. I got it shaded green. I got the green part shaded. I mean, I got it's, it's shaded out to 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. Every fish just came right there at about 10 feet. 10 feet deep, 10 feet depth. Obviously, my bait's only about four or five feet deep, but every fish has been in about that depth range. Usually, my boat's sitting in, missed him. Usually, my boat's sitting in um, 11 to 13 whenever I get a bite. Pounder. God, giant. That's a slab, ain't it? What do you think, four? What's going on, dude? We just hit them today, didn't we? Watch them come up and get it right there. You don't feel it? I'm gonna go another side. I think it might be. Good. 